Alyssa was only 12 years old when she was diagnosed with a form of leukemia that's 96% curable. She soon found out she was in the other 4%. Chemotherapy didn't work, leaving doctors to suggest a revolutionary new treatment called base editing. Six months later, Alyssa is cancer-free. I'm feeling happy, actually. And why are you feeling happy today? Because I have had new cells put into me. Gene editing is cutting edge. Doctors modify the DNA in cells taken from the patient so that they kill off cancer cells. However, Alyssa's system proved immune to the therapy. So they used an even newer technique called base editing, where they use donor T cells, adapting their DNA to make them invisible to other cancer treatments, as well as other T cells, allowing them to focus on the cancer. It is a very exciting time for genetic therapies um, we are finding every day there is a new treatment coming up, and which is going to be more and more targeted. The particular therapy used on Alyssa was only invented six years ago. Dr. Jagdeep Walia, a Canadian researcher on the front lines of gene therapy, remembers the concept as theoretical when he was in medical school. There is hope, uh, and more and more hope is coming, yes, with newer technologies not only for leukemias or cancers, but also for many genetic conditions where there was no treatment before, and now many new treatments are coming. Put another way, it's revolutionizing the way doctors approach disease. Alyssa just happens to be the first. I'm very honored, um, and um, it feels good to have helped other people as well. She'll be closely monitored, of course, but this teenager's life going forward looks normal. Mike Drolet, Global News, Toronto.